Okay, today we will discuss the thin spherical vessel. So we have a, this vessel is a spherical in form. If we cut this in this plane, that is the y plane, or you cut along the x plane, or you cut in any plane, will you get the same hemisphere again? But in the case of cylinder, if you cut in x plane, you get different section, and you cut in y plane, you get different section. But whereas in the case of sphere, will you get the same section? So in this case, along x and y, we have same stress. No change along x and no change along y. Whatever the stress comes, that is called as hoop stress. So if I draw the element here, so is this stress is same as this stress. So this one is called as hoop stress. So on this inner area, that is this area, the pressure will act, and the pressure is acting equals to P multiplied by this area. So this area will be equals to pi by four d square. Whereas, if you see this area, is it a resisting area? This is circumference multiplied by thickness, and you will get the stress produced along this direction, which will going to oppose this pressure force is along the periphery. So this time, your resisting area is pi multiplied by d multiplied by p. So this time, we are sigma F I balance, or we can say pressure force equal to the strength of material that equal to p multiplied by pi by four. Multiplied by d square is same as sigma hoop stress multiplied by resisting area that is pi multiplied by d multiplied by t. You can solve this and you can get hoop stress is equal to p multiplied by d divided by 4t. And as per this notation, is it the same along x-axis and is same along y-axis? So same will be equal to max. Same will be equal to mean. And therefore, its tau max will be equals to zero. So there is no shear stress in this case because tau max is defined as sigma max minus sigma mean divided by two. And if we draw the Mohr circle of this one, Mohr circle will be equals to point. That is same value for x, same value for y. So Mohr circle has radius equals to zero, and it's clearly indicate tau x y equal to zero. And if we draw the three Mohr circle. Then one more circle will be drawn. Other two more circle will overlap. Then is this radius will be equals to tau max. Tau max x y will be equal to zero. But what is tau max absolute? Is equal to this value minus this value. This value will be equals to what? Zero. So sigma one, sigma two. So it's same as sigma h divided by. Can get very quickly. Then we will calculate epsilon x. Epsilon x is same as sigma x by e. Minus mu times sigma y by e, both are same, and this one is same as epsilon d. It has only one dimension, yes. so it is epsilon d equal to this is sigma h by e. This is one minus, mu. and this sigma h will be equals to what? P d by 40. And now we have volume. Volume is equal to pi, pi by 6 d cube. 4 by 3 pi r cube is same as pi by 6 d cube. If we partial differentiate, we'll get dB equal to pi by six into three times d square, and then we'll divide on both side by v. So this will be equals to v. This equals to pi by six into d cube. So this one is epsilon volume, volumetric strength. This will be pi by six cancel, three cancel. So this is three times. This is partial differentiation will be equals to dD. So this is dB divided by d. Is same as three times epsilon d. That is equal to three times sigma h by e one minus.